Now the second part of Jesus' promise is not only my joy will be in you, but your joy may be full. Now that's quantity. If my joy in you is quality, your joy may be full, full of quantity. That's what you've been looking for. Not only the best and the bestest, but the most and the mostest. To use the superlative of superlatives, as it were. Uh, all of us are deficient in our happiness, but our joy can become full. Because His joy is now in us. God's undefeated, unlimited, unimaginable, undiluted joy, which becomes the basis of our happiness. Regardless of what we go through, regardless of what circumstance you face, uh, regardless of what feeling you feel, uh, His joy will come in you and your joy will be full. Some time ago, uh, I was uh, in Mexico City to meet a man uh, who uh, was one of the wealthiest men in this country, maybe in the world. And as we visited for about three hours, his story was appallingly sad. As I counted his narrative, he was about his seventh wife, at least his seventh woman. He had homes all over the world. Uh, he had uh, energy resources and business propositions that would, uh, you know, revitalize anybody anywhere. But he was a sad man. Not a single time during that whole time did he crack a smile. He was bearing burdens. He was the unhappy unhappy with the levels of happiness that he had achieved. When I left him that night, I was making my way to the hotel room, and uh, beside the elevator was uh, another man who was showing me the way up, and, and next to him was the shoeshine stand. And I said, shoeshine? He said, si, senor, yes. And I sat there, and once in a, a year I get my shoe shined, but I s uh, we engaged in conversation. Alejandro, his name was, on his uh, badge, he belonged to the hotel, and he had been shining shoes for about three years in that hotel. We began to talk. There was a brightness about him and his face. And finally, I could not but ask him, I said, Alejandro, what is the secret of your brightness? And he said, sir, only uh, three months ago I've learned English, so I'm not as good, but here it is. He said, I have been shining shoes for six years. Three years ago, I came into this hotel. He says, that's my job, and occasionally I show people up the lift, the elevator. Uh, I, however, three years ago, also received Jesus Christ, Jesus Christus, into my life. And he said, uh, my life changed. I have many problems in my life, but I have joy, so that my shoe shining now is a reflection of my relationship with Jesus Christ. Amazing story, because I was with one of the richest men in that country, one of the saddest men in the country. And a few hours later, I was one of the poorest men in the country, but one of the most joyful men in this country. You know why? Because one had received the Lord Jesus into his life. If you would like joy, real joy, a joy that the world cannot give, that's beyond every circumstance that you cannot easily define. I welcome you to consider the words of the Lord Jesus, who said, I've spoken these words to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. You're saying, I want that kind of joy. As simply and humbly and honestly as you can, I want you to talk to God. Tell Him, uh, uh, I don't... Uh, no joy. I can't find joy. I've tried everything and maybe it's out there, but uh, I want it now. Uh, I have disqualified myself actually from joy because of the way I have lived. I have done wrong. I have sinned. But I want all that to be taken care of, to be removed permanently, to not be counted against me. I want to be freed into joy, to go beyond happiness. Lord Jesus, thank you for taking my place and dying instead of me on the cross. And thank you for raising yourself from the dead so you can guarantee me joy. Tell him that. 
and then say, come into my life. I want the power to be joyful. I want the resources for joy. I want to go beyond happiness. Come into my life. And he will do you over. One of the most redemptive shows on television is called Extreme Makeover. I'm talking about the home edition. <laughs> it is a, a redemptive show to the uh, highest extent because, you know, they choose and select a family who don't uh, have much and they come into their uh, home, they uh, plan a complete makeover. They destroy the old house and keep some little memories of the old house and they try to meet the expectations of the kids and the perhaps the parents into building a brand new home. It's a great show. It's misnamed because it's not simply a makeover which is cosmetized. It is an architectural do-over. And that's what uh, Jesus offers to you. He offers to you a complete do-over. Not a cosmetized external happiness, but an internal rebuilding new creation so that you can have His joy in you and so that your joy may be full. Would you like God's joy into your life? Then receive God Jesus into you. And He becomes the source of your joy. He becomes the purpose of your life. He becomes the object of your happiness. If you would like to receive God's joy into your life, will you receive God, Jesus, into your life? Come to our website. Write to me. Maybe we can dialogue. Our whole team is waiting in order to receive your notes. And we want to put you on the journey to joy.